This is the 2021 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12, problem number 27. A triangle ABC is divided by two transversals as shown. The areas of the smaller triangles are 1, 3, and 3. What is the area of the original triangle? A, 12, B, 12.5, C, 13, D, 13.5, or E, 14. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we are going to go through the solution. So to start, I've labeled some more of the points, namely D, O, and E on the image as given to us on the test. And then I have connected vertex A to the center O where all the transversals meet. And that splits that unknown area into X and Y. So we're going to try to figure out what X and Y are and then add that to 1, 3, and 3 to find the area of the original triangle as given to us um, by the question. So in order to figure out how we can find X and Y, Let's take a look at this triangle BEC, which I've drawn over here, not exactly to scale, and try to figure out what the areas tell us about the lengths of the triangle. So we have this triangle CEO has an area of 3, and the other triangle COB also has an area of 3. Both of these triangles share the same heights. So if you want, you could draw it or you could just imagine. They both have the same height. The difference is their base. So if they have the same area, that means that the base EO must equal the base OB. And we can continue this idea by looking at this triangle now in the image, D, B, C. They both share the same, both the triangle with area one and the triangle with area three in this image share the same height. The difference is their base. So that tells us that this base from D to O that is part of the triangle with area one is one third of the length of the base OC. So we're going to use this idea to figure out what X and Y are. So the first formula, sorry, equation we're going to come up with using this idea is that 3 times X is equal to Y plus 3. And the way we do that is by looking at this triangle, A, D, C. We already established that D, O is one third of O, C. And because we connected A to O, we can use this to know that X which is the area of the triangle with base 1, must be equal to one-third the sum of the areas of y and 3. Because again, that portion of triangle ADC has a base that is three times the base of ADO. And both triangles share the same height. So this gives us the relation that 3 times the area of x must be equal to the y plus 3. And now we can find one more equation, and then we'll have a system, and we can find x and y. The next one is 1. Let's just clear this up a little. We have that 1 plus x is equal to y. And the way we can figure that out is by looking at inside this triangle A, B, E. Again, we have transversal A, O that we're focusing on, and we already established in this image that 
BO has a base equal to that of OE because, again, in the triangle we both have 3 and they have the same height, so the bases must be the same. So if we look at ABE, the fact that the base of triangle ABO must be equal to that of AOE tells us that this area, 1 plus x, must be equal to the area y because, again, both triangles share the same height and also the same base. So now we can combine these two equations, rewrite y in terms of x, and then put it back in the first equation, and we can solve. So again, we rewrote y as being 1 plus x. So we have 3x is equal to 1 plus x plus 3. Subtract two x from each side, add 1 plus 3 to get 4. So we get 2x is equal to 4, x is equal to 2. And we know that y is 1 plus x, so y is equal to 3. So now we need to find the area. We have 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3. And we get a sum of 12. And that is answer choice A. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.